day and churn out the same old gags over Christmas dinner every single year and then follow up with... <laughs> well, now you can trump it with some classic one-liners thanks to our next guest. Comedian and writer Carl Chandler has compiled a whole book of jokes from the country's funniest people. Please welcome him to the Circle Carl! Yes, I'm excited. The Circle. Your book is hilarious and it's got some of our favourites in there. Dave O'Neill, yep. etc. Who's in it and how did they get on the list? Uh, who is it? Dave O'Neill, Friends of the Circle, Dave mm -hmm. O'Neill, Lawrence Mooney, yep. uh, uh, Dave Thornton, Dave Thornton Greg Danny Fleet. Danny McGinley, he's warming up our studio audience today. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually want to sell the book, so if you could not... <laughs> I just hit up all, all my favourite people and, and, and it's a bit of a time capsule of Australian comedy. People that were interested in being part of, you know, a moment of, uh, uh, I guess, you know, comedy history in Australia. So it's a nice snapshot of uh, all the big names and some of, like, the, the people that you may not know yet mm. that are going to be big in the future. Mm. Yeah. It is very funny. I, I always love a joke book and they always come out around Christmas time. Yep. And usually there is not one funny... You see, you're in the bookstore like this. Not funny. This one, hilarious. Yes, that's what we want to hear. Yeah, yeah. no, it is, it is truly, truly funny. <laughs> yeah. I try, like, you know what? Phew. That's the secret. I tried not to put anyone that was too crap in there. Yeah. So. <laughs> to it. yeah. What is the secret of, of a good one-liner? Because there's definitely an art to it. Well, you know what? Um, I guess th there's a couple of things. There's timing, you know, there's uh, context. Can You've you got to give know... us one? Instead yes. of talking about it, oh, give right, us a good yeah, one, well, Carl. I'll give, you, I'll give you this example. I'll give you a couple of quick jokes in, in 30 seconds. I've got some quick ones. Yeah. Uh, how about this? Um, I like to go to the library, get out all the books on feng shui, <laughs> put them back in the wrong section. <laughs> uh, I, like to, I like to take a sleeping pill with my coffee just to see who wins. <laughs> tips for people like me who are just crap at telling jokes? Yes. Do everything in the right order. Because this, right. this, this is, like, this is what self, happens. Order, I'm sure this has happened order. to you guys. Yes. You know when you hear a joke and you go to tell people at the office and you get halfway through it and you go, I'm not telling this right at all. Yeah, I, I do know, that all the time. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to end this joke. Well, that's that's what my girlfriend does with my jokes. So <laughs> someone, she'll meet friends of hers and go, oh, my boyfriend's a comedian. And they'll go, oh, what's one of his jokes? And then she'll take a joke like, like one of my old jokes would have been, I think I'm a bit like a woman. If I go somewhere at night and someone else is wearing the exact same outfit that I am, I'll throw a hissy fit, go home straight away and get changed. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm no longer allowed to play indoor soccer. <laughs> <laughs> now, my girlfriend will remember that joke and go, oh, my boyfriend's got a good joke, I'll tell you how it goes. It goes a bit like this. I was playing indoor soccer <laughs> and everyone was wearing the same outfit. What's up with that? <laughs> and then all of her friends think that I'm a dickhead. <laughs> Personal. You've just got this beautiful, happy energy and disposition. So you could say almost anything and people would laugh. But sometimes it's the people, it's the way they deliver it. Like, I can't stand it at a, at a dinner party if someone goes, I've got the funniest joke. Yeah. Have a listen to this. Oh, after gigs all the time, people come up with horrible jokes that aren't theirs. And it goes, yeah, and then someone's dog got run over or something. <laughs> you can use that. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, what am I using that for? <laughs> yeah. hey, you, oh. you do a lot of stand-up. Um, comedy. Yep. Are you able to do stand-up comedy sitting down on the couch? Uh, I am. I think I've been doing it already, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing already? jokes before. They were jokes. You know, was... One of the things that I love about the book is, have a look at this, up the back, it's sort of like a who's who of Australian comedians. A lot of them I recognise. Some of them I've never set eyes on before. That's Danny McGinley. I've said Danny that. McGinley. <laughs> yeah. Danny who? But it's and also what? got their website or their t tweet oh, feed or... Well, Mike Can could I use a Mike? haircut. He could use a haircut, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, do you so have a favourite? Is there somebody that you know that you can go and see and really <laughs> laugh? Because comedians are a tough crowd. I was watching a comedy show once with, uh, I think it was Jamon or Glenn Robbins or something, and he was just going, that's funny. That's funny to the other comedian. They don't actually laugh. No, that's They just it. go, that's funny. We don't laugh at other comedians. unless Why? Unless they're going badly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of comedians in the audience today and they're praying for me to start bombing right now. Where are they? Yes. Oh, they're in the middle aisle. I can see them Loud and their cheeky faces. Danny McGinley's been trying to warm down the crowd for half an hour. <laughs>
I love it. Now, have we, have you, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot here. If one of our dads comes up with a stinky one-liner at Christmas or an yeah. awful dad joke, have you got a zinger that we can hit, hit him back with? Oh, hit him back Putting with. Putting you on the spot. How, how rude am I allowed to be? <laughs> Very. Yeah, got to remember watching. the yeah, live TV. I've thing. got one here from Tommy Little who says, I'm thinking it might be time to put my parents into a nursing home. I mean, they both still work full time, but you can never be too careful. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Dad. Please thank comedian Carl Chad. <laughs> Carl's book, Funny Buggers, is out this Wednesday. And guess what? Everyone in the studio audience is going, yeah! Yeah!